Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics video series, So You Want to Learn LaTeX. Today, I'm going to show you how to use LaTeX built-in citation man management system, BibTeX, which can definitely make your long research papers that much less of a drag. Most LaTeX distributions come standard with the powerful citation management program, BibTeX, which can be used to manage bibliography for your LaTeX documents, such as big term papers, and here's how you can, here's how you can use it. First, you want to make a file with extension .bib, that you'll save in the same directory as your, as your tech file that you're making your bibliography for. I've already set up this one, mybib.bib. You can edit this using your LaTeX editor since it's just a plain text file, but make sure you save it as a .bib extension since that's not going to be the default that it saves files as. Now, the bibliography, uh, the, the bibliography file doesn't need any sort of fancy commands telling it, like, the bibliography starts here or this document is a bibliography. Those are all handled in the, in the tech document. Now, as you can see, these are all uh, center of math textbooks, um, and these are sort of example citation entries. They all have the um, book, which is the kind of document it is, and then a key that you'll cite it by, which is just an alphanumeric string, and then uh, fields like title, author, year, publisher, etc., uh, which denote what goes in the citation for each. These are delimited by curly braces, but you can also use quotation marks. Um, the effect is the same for either. Now, depending on the class of document that you're citing, uh, various fields are required and other fields are optional. You can look at what, what uh, fields are required and optional for each class of document on the internet. Now, as you can see, I've just put these here because I didn't want to type them all out myself. But a way you can get your citations quickly is by going to uh, your web browser, going to Google Books, if you're citing books, for example, searching for the book you want to cite, say, Worldwide Integral Calculus. And go into the Google Books page, and from there you can export a BibTeX citation. This will give you a .bibTeX file, but this is just plain text that you can copy into your .bib file. And additionally, sources like Archive and Google Scholar also have BibTeX citations for scholarly papers that you're citing, perhaps. So once you put your bibliography file together, You go back to your uh, document and, well, let's put some text in. And then to put your bibliography in, you need to specify a bibliography, st bibliography style. Here we'll use plain. And then you use the bibliography command whose argument is the name of your bibliography file, mybib.bib. And if you compile this, we see that no bibliography appears. This is because we have not actually cited any of our documents in the text, and BibTeX lets you use a large bibliography across multiple documents, but uh, still lets you only show in your uh, references for each document the items that you want to be cited for that particular document. So in order to get what we want to show up, we go back to our document, and we use the cite command, whose argument is one of the keys of the entries in our bibliography. If we compile this, we see this creates a parenthetical citation, and in the reference sections, it comes up with the bibliography entry for the thing which we're citing as defined by the contents of the, bib, of the bib file. If you want something to show up in your bibliography without uh, citing it parenthetically, you use the no cite command. So we'll no cite our other source. And now both of them show up in the references. So as you can see, the plain bibliography style numbers the bibliography entries by author name in alphabetical order of last name. As you can see, Kleiman comes before Massey. There are other styles available uh, for how you want your bibliography set up. For example, uh, unsorted, or UNSRT, will sort your references um, based on the order they appear in the document. So if we compile this, we see that nothing changes. This is because we have to run BibTeX again, and that's only done automatically when the actual contents of the citations in your document change. 
So to run this uh, manually, you go to Tools Bibliography, or if you're doing it from the, the command line, you run bibtech on the .aux file associated with uh, the tech file you're working on. Uh, and if we compile this a couple more times, we see that now everything is in the order that appears in the text in that the, the only one that appears in the text comes first. There are, of course, lots of other uh, bibliography styles available that you can look up on the internet. And if you're writing documents which will be consumed by reasonable people, it's likely that they'll be wanting you to use a, uh, a citation style which uh, is supported by BibTeX or extensions to BibTeX that you can again uh, delve more into for yourself. Now, an interesting thing, you'll notice that uh, even though the author fields in the bibliography um, have the names in last name, first name order, these, they're still translated into first name, last name order in this particular bibliography style. If we put one of them in first name, last name order in the bibliography, then surprisingly enough, uh, BibTech will not complain about this. Uh, it's actually very smart about dealing with um, author names uh, and multiple use and th 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 these in the bibliography author fields are only separated by and. So if you have three authors, it'll actually be smart enough to only put an and between the last two in the author field as it appears in the references in your compiled document. Now because it shifts parts of names around to uh, fit the name styles supported by different uh, bibliography styles. If you want a particular, a particular name to be rendered verbatim, uh, such as Count Dracula, uh, then you put this inside curly brackets, inside the curly brackets or quotation marks denoted in the author field. This will uh, group all those characters together and make BibTeX not shift them around. So now you know how to give your documents bibliographies. Thank you for watching this video in our series, So You Want to Learn LaTeX. Click here to view other videos in our series. Click here to, to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new Center of Math videos. And click here for our website, which has more math resources, including a catalog of our textbooks, which are all, as you may know, written in LaTeX.